Mary Leonardi has a history of breast cancer in her family and has been monitoring her health since being diagnosed with Lynch syndrome in 2007, a genetic disorder that makes her more susceptible to breast cancer. Because of my Lynch, I've been heavily screened, tested, probed and prodded for 15 years of my life in anticipation of preventing early cancers. After surviving thyroid cancer and a hysterectomy, she decided to undergo a double mastectomy to be safe. When it came to breast reconstruction, she didn't want implants. Instead, she wanted something more natural, like her belly fat tissue, and for the surgery to be performed by a robot. And I said, I don't do that, and I almost dismissed that. Mary had prior experience with robotic surgery with her hysterectomy, but Dr. Tana of Glen Cove Hospital denied the idea, until a few years later, when he attended a lecture by Jesse Selber from Texas, who had experience with it. I was blown away, and I was like, not only is he right, but Mary's right for wanting this. And that's the resilience to the story. That's the empowerment to the story because she didn't give up. Dr. Selber flew in from Texas and with the assistance of the robot, they successfully completed the eight hour operation earlier this month. A surgeon guides the robot from the console, but the robot is the one actually touching the patient and performing the operation at the direction of the surgeon. The groundbreaking technology is the first on Long Island and first major advance since it was developed more than 25 years ago. Very few uh, teams have been able to uh, put together and go around and people uh, that have the capabilities to accomplish this. And so I'm really happy for Team. The doctors say the benefits include a reduced risk of abdominal hernia and bulge, reduced pain, and quicker recovery time. I want all women to have all choices, an abundance of choices. We shouldn't be limited in our options for something as uh, major as breast reconstruction. 